Valorant won't leave a scratch on Fortnite, and here's why. Now, you all know that I would do anything, and I mean anything, for another game to come along and leave such a big dent in Fortnite that it would revert to making smarter decisions with the game. But, you know, those, uh, those 1.7 million viewers on Twitch for Valorant did absolutely nothing to Fortnite. Like, I'm, I'm just saying, it did nothing. And it will continue to do nothing to Fortnite because there's a big reason why that Valorant won't do anything to Fortnite. And it's because of experiences. I feel like when people talk about a game bringing another game down, that you have to think about the, what these games offer. And there's a reason behind why a game would take over another game. And usually those games would have to be in the same genre to take over the other game. And I don't know if you guys realize, but uh, Fortnite and Valorant are two completely different games. One is a fast paced BR and the other is a slow paced regurgitated version of Overwatch and CSGO. And that was my first impression of the game too. And now that I see way more gameplay of it, yeah, it's pretty much, yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty accurate. That's like saying Animal Crossing could kill Fortnite. No, that's not the case because each one of those games provide a completely different experience that you can only get from those games individually. Sure, Animal Crossing may come out and you'll spend a little less time playing Fortnite or whatever, but in the grand scheme of things, you're gonna come back to Fortnite because you're gonna want that fast paced battle royale PVP, which is something you don't get from playing Animal Crossing. But what I see as a big threat, threat, for, for, oh damn, I have, that was a, that was a bad mess up, that was a bad mess up. But what a big threat to Fortnite is right now is Warzone. Warzone is such a well-made battle royale that it can replace the experience of Fortnite, which is not the same effect that Valorant can have. It's because Warzone is a battle royale and Valorant is not. Which by the way, I thought I thought Valorant was a battle royale. And that's why I thought that's why I thought people were getting so hype about it. But I see the game it's it's so boring. Like for example, I was in Dr. Disrespect stream and I've never seen how painfully bored somebody could be of a video game. That's how bored he looked the entire time. Now I can't really speak for him, but that's just what it looks like. But what Warzone has done is successfully but what Warzone has done is successfully recreate what made Fortnite big in the first place. The gameplay was simple but hard and you could just hop into the game and have loads of fun And that's a part of Fortnite that has been completely lost over time If I was new to Fortnite right now, I would probably drop the game within a week Fortnite has become a game that is so complicated You can't just get into the game and have fun with it You're so worried about all the things of the game that it, it's too hard to play but with Warzone, it's fun, exciting, it's so simple. You just hop in, grab a gun, and start shooting people. And not to mention, it's like a battle royale on a AAA title that people have been playing for years. I've been, I played Black Ops 1 back in 2010. Like, I, I've played Call of Duty for most of my life. And I cannot imagine how exciting it must be to get your first win on this game because... I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't got mine, but I remember my first win on Fortnite, and from what I know so far, getting a win in Fortnite is not nearly as hard as it is in Warzone, which, by the way, is something else that makes Warzone awesome, because, like, you can die to something stupid in Warzone and get a 50-50 chance to respawn and have your life back, which I think is incredible and something that should definitely be considered to be added in Fortnite one day. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching watching the video if you did enjoy the video it would mean a lot if you left a like and a comment on how you feel about Valorant because in my opinion it doesn't look that good I'm gonna obviously try it out but I don't think it's gonna be anything and I feel like it's gonna be a lot like that for a lot of people too it'll just be a game that had a lot of hype behind it and then it'll immediately fall down and I really appreciate you for watching this because I didn't even know if I wanted to record this video because sometimes I'm just really not sure of certain kinds of content I'm going to post on my channel. And I'm not going to lie, sometimes I feel bad about posting such simple videos like this. But you know what? Sometimes you need a simple video here and then talking about something and something you're passionate about and something you can like voice your opinion about. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I love you all.
and peace. Wait, wait, wait. I had a quick question real quick. Uh, I want to bring back the Minecraft series, but I don't know if you guys actually want to watch that. Um, and I would obviously be doing it with mods, but please comment whether you want the Minecraft series back or not, because I kind of want to do it, but I don't want to do it if you guys don't want to see it. I love you all. This is for real this time. I'm leaving. I love you. Watch the intro. Stay cooking up the beans.